This is Rich. We have both ballers and flat earthers trying to explain to Charlie. But Charlie <laughs> doesn't get it. This is very. I very well theme. understand it. I I don't I don't think that the ballers understand that I understand what your point is. Well, I, I wasn't very well understand it. I wasn't Dude, does the ground me. accelerate Just towards the person? Yes from or no? Their, from their reference frame, if they're in free fall, yes. So you have a ball. You have one guy on the north, one guy on the south. Uh huh. Right. Correct. So they both jump. Now, is the ground accelerating for both of them at the same time? When while they're jumping, like while they're accelerating up. Yep. Relative to the Earth. So yep. from from each of their own reference frames, the Earth is accelerating away from them. Okay. So now, from their second question: Is frame. the is the Earth moving, or is the Earth expanding? to meet both people. Is the Earth moving? The Earth is moving relative to both of them. The Earth is not expanding at all. So the Earth is both moving in the northern direction and in the southern direction at the same time? Relative, relative to each of their reference frame. You missed, you left that part out, which is a, a very important part. Yeah, so you can say reality. relative cousin or brother. Answer the question. The Earth is expanding for both people at the same time yes or no the earth is while they're jumping why would the earth be expanding is the earth meeting them is the earth accelerating towards them i thought you said they were jumping so why would the earth be moving towards them you want to play games do you want to say that are you, are, you trying to say, are you trying to say that they're now you have people? two people antipodal both uh -huh. jumping at the same time that means the earth is accelerating towards both of them. Yes, in your model or no? Uh, if, if I have people that are both on anti, uh, on like one in the North Pole, one in the South Pole, they both jump, right? You're asking me, in the moment that each of them are accelerating away from the center of the Earth, right? Is the yes, Earth- Yes, at that moment, when they, uh -huh. when they go, when they jump up and then they fall back down, is the Earth accelerating? Oh, that's not a moment. Both... That's two different. That's two different instances, right? Which moment are you talking about? Well, when they're in free fall or when they're jumping up? Those are two different scenarios. Well, okay, you want to play games when they're in free fall? When they're okay. falling, when uh -huh. they're both falling and the portal to each other. Is the Earth accelerating towards them at the South Pole and at the North Pole at the same time? In their respective reference frames, yes. In reality, how about in reality? Yeah, how about yeah, how no, about, in, how reality? about in reality? Forget the reference frame bullshit, the mathematical model that you guys have. How about in reality? Is that happening? I don't know what you mean by in reality. Is it accelerating, right? Because acceleration is a relative effect. Again, you I don't know what reality means. Over over. You don't you know, know what reality means. Frame. Not in this context, no. In the context that you're trying to use it, it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. You said it. You do realize you're sounding like a delusional. Frame. Not job, right? S3 Montreal, do you want to be a little bit more polite? I'm trying to be polite, bro, but you're I don't think you're trying very question. hard, to be honest. You're saying, and I apologize for calling you that, you're saying that the Earth accelerates for both the North person and the South person at the same time. Now, you don't want to admit your paradox here. You want to talk about words and what is reality and what is acceleration. We have you by the short hairs, bro. Just admit you're wrong. Admit it's nonsense, and we can move forward. S3 Montreal, wrong, can I give you an analogy as to, why, as to why, as to why uh, this in is a problem rep. for me? So let's say I'm in LA and you're in New York, right? And I send a car from LA to New York, okay? The distance between me and the car is increasing, obviously, because the, the car is moving towards New York, and the distance between you and the car is decreasing. Now, you, the question that you're asking is analogous to, is the car moving towards or away from Charlie and Montreal? Negative. Obviously, it's, it's different for each of them. It's different be because it's a, uh, uh, you know, distance is a, is a relative thing. Obviously, it's different between each of them. Negative. Try again. What, what, about, what about that as negative? It's not analogous. Why not? 
I'll tell you why. Because you got a ball in your mythical sphere. You got a ball. You got a person in the north. You got a person in the south. They both jump. The ground accelerates toward them. That means in your fantasy no, no, model. No, they're accelerating away let, from them. Let me right, finish. Don't interrupt me. I'm at the crescendo. Okay. That means in your fantasy model, the balloon is expanding. The only way nope. that the surface can accelerate towards each person is if that surface is expanding. There's nothing you can say to change that. Nope. Like, again, you keep nope, getting hung that's up. that's your answer? Nope. You keep getting, no, I'm trying to give you an answer. You keep getting hung up on acceleration being an absolute thing when it's not. It's a relative thing, right? It, you have to talk, you have to define which reference frame you're talking about. If we're talking about Alice that, and, and she's in free fall, then the earth is accelerating towards her. If we're talking about Bob and he's in free fall, then the earth is also accelerating towards him. But there's no. How could that happen? No, which way no, is the Earth moving? There's no reference frame in which the Earth is accelerating towards both of them. That's your it, model, it, bro. You don't see the paradox. No, no, no. You this just is you buried know. yourself right there. You just took a shovel and you dug a grave. So, so in other do you words, not see it? It's not happening in reality. So in other words, Charlie, it's not happening. You're roboting in really reality. Bad. The ground's actually not accelerating up to meet both of them. Jeremy, Jeremy, did you catch my analogy? It's not analogous, bro. In reality, is the car moving away or towards us? The car the question is makes not no sense. leaving the surface. The car is traveling on the surface. It's not analogous, bro. It absolutely is analogous. I'm trying to demonstrate to you that because certain measurements are relative, then you have to talk about which reference frame you're referring to to talk about whether or not stuff is increasing or decreasing. No, only because you get different answers depending on model you get different answers depending on the on the reference frame. No, there's no. You can talk about reference frames all you want. I'll, you want to talk reference frames here? I'll give you reference frames. You have one guy on top. That's his reference frame. One guy on the bottom. That's his reference frame. Right? That's not a reference. So, frame. Excuse me. That's not a reference frame. It's not, would you care to define what a reference frame is then? Sure. So a reference frame in, the, in this scenario, we're talking about inertial reference frames, is a uh, set of coordinates that, fuck. Let me just bring up a dictionary. We can do that. Yeah, I think you, might, you, you should, yeah. You can say, oh, it's in the reference frame, it's accelerating up, and he's not wrong because in the reference frames, you can make anything happen. No, he can't. The thing is, does it match reality? No, he can't, Jeremy. Yeah. Even in his Just reference frame, specific reference he cannot frame. do it. And I'll prove it to you as soon as he answers what a reference frame is. Um. He's trying to find the definition that meets his needs now. That's why he's taking, because it takes three seconds to research reference well, frame. Well, the, the problem with the the definition that I found is that it, it uses the word, it uses absolute acceleration, right? Which is different <laughs> than the acceleration that we're using. Yeah, different than the fantasy one you're thinking of. That's right. Mm -hmm. Bro, why are you being a dick? Like, I'm trying to be very nice to you. I'm not being a dick, bro. You, you are. You're yeah, that's a very, that's a very here, smart And I'm comment. trying to expose it. I'm that's sorry. A very, that's fine. If you want, if you want to impeach what I'm saying, go ahead. But you don't have to be a dick about it. Okay, fair enough. Excellent. So I thought motion was relative. Now you're saying there's absolute acceleration. There is uh -huh. such a thing as 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 what's called uh, non-inertial reference frames, which which is basically an absolute acceleration. But there is also thing such a thing as a relative acceleration. So go ahead. Okay, so I don't know Try what to you make think your case. Let's hear. Means. Let's hear your argument. I couldn't hear the both of you talking at the same time. Sorry. Oh my bad. What was the question? I was just saying. Go ahead. Make your argument. Ahead, let's hear your that. argument. I don't. I don't have an argument. I mean, I'm, I mean, you asked me to tell you what I what I what I think an inertial reference frame is, and I gave it to you. Okay, and how does that work in your? You you said a reference frame, right? You tried to use a reference frame of, of why this isn't work doesn't work. So 
Now that you no. found the proper meaning, you see that you can't use that? Is that no, what no, you're trying to say? I, I'm trying to tell you, right, that acceleration in this case is a relative thing. What does that mean exactly? Can you, like, sure. clarify it, that? It, mean, it means that the acceleration is not due to, uh, 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 to a force being there. So there's no actual acceleration, you're saying? Well, if by actual acceleration, okay, okay I, I understand what you're saying. If by actual acceleration, you mean like a non-inertial reference frame, right? Then, then, then I think we're on the same page, right? So, okay, I, okay, I actually think we're on the same page here. Okay, so, uh, uh, so let's say, fuck. Um, so, so in in special relativity, there are rel there is relative acceleration. And there is non-inertial, you know, actual acceleration. I guess is what you could call. And which one is this one that you're referring to? I wanna, I wanna so, hold you down on this. So, so when when we say somebody is in free fall, right? Then my understanding is that we have a, a, a relative acceleration going on, right? Like oh, no. rel relative to at to Alice, the Earth is accelerating towards her. And relative to Bob, the Earth is, is accelerating towards him. So we have two accelerations going on, antipodal to each other. Correct. OK, so how can that be? Wait, because either I, sure. the, your ball has to be expanding for that to happen. Do you no, not see that? No, that would only be true if the acceleration was absolute, but it isn't. It's a relative acceleration. So just not like actual, so not actual re acceleration you're saying so not happening no i said it's not uh it's 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 not not inertial if by so that you mean, if by that if by that you mean actual acceleration then sure i were in agreement right if I, if i were to come here and say um the earth as a non inertial reference frame is accelerating towards both bob and alice then sure the earth would have to expand but that is not what i'm saying yeah, but that's what the model states, bro. Don't, no, do you not, not see that? It does not at all. How, but, well, explain then. How can you have acceleration on Bob and Alice, which are antipodal on a sphere without the sphere expanding? How can I've, that physically happen? I, I've, I've already explained this ad nauseum. No, you said relative. That's all you said. And, and reference frame. And when we went to reference frame, no, you I, saw I think that you know it that was I actual. That. I think you know that I said more than that. You've been accelerating towards an answer, but I don't think we've been right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So accelerate faster towards the answer, please. Or just say, look, man, this is crazy. You're right. Doesn't make sense. I got to rethink this. No, I mean, I mean I, I've already given you the answer and I'll say it again, right? Relative to both uh, Bob and Alice, the earth is accelerating towards them. It's relative acceleration. Right, not but not actual, not but not actual. If, if by actual you mean non-inertial, sure. What do you? Of well, of course it's non-inertial. What do you think it means? Do you think that that acceleration is not is actual inertial or non? What do you think acceleration is? It inertial or non-inertial in your mind? It, it, it's both, depending on context. It's both. Yes, depending on context. My God, man, you're you're lost in the weeds, bro. I'm sorry. All right, bro. I mean, do you want to continue it or do you, do you, is that your closing statement? Continue what? You have no answer. You have no argument. I think I made my point. I mean, no use beating a dead horse. Okay. Somebody else can talk. In. I mean, I think I made my point very well. There's no way you can make sense of this. Period. End of story. It's a paradox. You either accept the paradox and move on, or you admit something's wrong. You look into it like an intellectual person will do, and you might discover something, Charlie. That's all that's left here. Like if there's a blaring elephant in the room, bro, and you don't see it. Okay, I mean, did you want to continue it, or were you done? Because now you're just... Again, okay. Like, All right. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I mean, I'm happy to keep talking about it, right? But like, 
if if you're if all you're gonna do what well, we keep talking about is like you're dumb you're dumb you're dumb like okay then at least let me defend myself fair 